Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna introduce a new friend to you, Tensor Art. In the models tab, we can see there are tons of the models. I doubt that all the models in the world is listed here. I don't know. Tell me, Tensor. So basically, we have the category from from SDXL. Mimi's exclusive beautiful 3D 2.5D. I think 2.5D mean animate style maybe, and also male, female, animate stuff like that. When you click one of the models, you will find there are two options for you: download the models. So if you are already very good at Stable Diffusion or Comfy UI, you can download this model for you to use locally. And also you can click here to run it online. I prefer this, but I also can download it here. And then you will find the author leaves some message here. And we have a comments. And uh, basically those images are created by this model. It's pretty cool, right? And if we want to try this, we can click here, run, and uh, now the model is selected already, so we can type the new prompt. Okay, so now I type the prompt here, leave the negative prompt alone, and we choose a model. And also we can change the aspect ratio from here, and then we can click the generate. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we generate a new images here, and we have a robot gun, and we have a character in the Amini style, and also uh, in the red dress. Pretty cool. We can download it or enhance it to the higher pixels, or we can impaint certain portions. That's pretty cool. Pretty insane. And besides the very cool characters, we also can use it in our daily work. For example, we can create an icon for game, or we can uh, create a poster. We can create any pictures or, uh, or photography for our product. For example, if we want to use this, we click the RAN. Okay, we have a new image here, and uh, you can see the character's face, the facial expression, and uh, the looks basically is from this model. And some certain areas wrong, like the hand is misplaced, and <laughs> we have the product iPhone here. So basically, if you ignore the hands, and the rest can be a poster for the promotion of the iPhone. But let me try to fix the hand. So first we cover the incorrect uh, portion and we can give a mask blood here so enlarge the area. Click generate. Okay, we impaint the, the hand. I think this hand looks normal now. And this hand still a little bit weird, right? Let's try again. All right, finally, we have this beautiful lady with the correct hand and the product. Perfect. All we need to do is put it in Photoshop and we can make it a beautiful poster for the certain product. Nice. All right, I think this tool is really cool and we can try another model from here. So in AI tools, we have a bunch of the tools that we can use in our daily life and they have a certain meaning and certain functionalities. For example, like this Flux. Flux is pretty hard recently. So in Tensort Art, you can find the Flux in the model page. So let's take a look. So the Flux is the latest version of the artificial intelligence tools for generate images. So let's try how it looks. Well, we just generate two beautiful images by using the default prompt provided by this model. Pretty cool. I like this. We can use it as a uh, wallpaper maybe. And click real time generate. Then we'll be hit here and give a second. So we generated an image right here. Then we can change it accordingly. So if you don't want to uh, in a right close, you can change to green. 
Then we find the clothes change accordingly, and we can change the aspect ratio from here, 2 to 3, 1 to 1, 3 to 2, and also we can change our model from here, so each model have a different style. See, so we change the model and the image change accordingly, and we also can save to workspace or download this image, and also we can copy the seed for the future to use. All right, in this post tab, we can find a lot of artworks generated by the community, and some of them are really sensational. And we can check uh, by click the tab, and we can find, we can copy the prompts. I know my example is very simple. I always type like the girl in cyberpunk age, but you can use their prompt to modify it or just copy it. And also their negative prompts are right beautifully. Um, and we can use it. We can check their models. And uh, we also can check their details like the seed, like the sizes. And what is beautiful is we don't need to remember all the details because we have this remix button. We just click here and generate exactly the same settings that this author are using in their images. So that's pretty insane. Basically, you can do anything anything even if you don't know some of the meaning of the settings and we have a thousand of a thousand artworks and uh, not only the beautiful characters but also something useful you can generate a food post uh, by using the correct prompt if you're working in a restaurant and you want to make a, a menu you want to make a poster you can use this of course and also if you are a designer you want to use a, a free license image you can use AI to generate the correct images for you to use in your work just like this one and also if you want to be a professional AI creator you can click here articles you can find a lot of article to introduce their tutorials of the generate images in uh, tensor arts and if you are green hand just like me you can find a lot of articles to introduce all the process of the AI generation in here and also if you are very pumped up you want to join some competition win some prize you can click here events you will find a lot of AI competition events are holding here and it is quite fun you can join one congratulations you finished this episode and don't forget to subscribe us and please click the like button also, leave all your questions inside of our comment zone. I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.